Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. And today I'm bringing you Taming Teddy. This is a Maid Marian novel, number two by Lucy Lennox. Uh, I believe I saw this talked about on Jeff and Will's Big Gay Fiction podcast. And I decided this was gonna be my light fluffy read while I was at GRL. And I was not disappointed. Teddy is a wildlife photographer. He travels all around the world to get like the best pictures, to do something amazing that nobody else has done. Therefore, he doesn't want to commit. He doesn't want to hold down a relationship. He decides that he's not going to do that and have somebody at home waiting for him while he's out traveling. And then you have to worry about them and their indiscretions. Is he gonna cheat? Are they gonna cheat? You just never know. And he's a really just free-spirited kind of person. He's bisexual, maybe pansexual, just kind of loves whoever he loves. Dr. James Marion slash Jamie is a wildlife consultant. Teddy refers to him as the wildlife whisperer. Teddy has tried and tried and tried to get hold of Jamie to take pictures and Jamie just refuses. He's like, no, people are going to see me close to the animals and think this is what they can do and it's gonna cause some issues. So Teddy keeps trying, Jamie keeps saying no. What do you do when you're at this block? You know, you're at like this fork in the road and either you give up and move on to something else or you continue forward. But how do you continue forward? We could stop and try something else, but Teddy says, not this day. This day, he is going to gather himself up, fly to Alaska, go to a desolated part where no neighbors are, there's nobody to be there in case something bad happens, and he just shows up on Jamie's doorstep. Well, we all know that this is going to be welcomed so good, you know, like, Hey, you found me a slap on the back. Come on in. Now, as I said, Teddy's kind of a free spirit. Jamie is not. Jamie is very structured. He has a routine and he's kind of set in his ways. He recently went through a very <laughs> horrible breakup. So he's not ready to really be around people, let alone somebody who's just invited themselves into his life. There's nothing even close to this being like a smooth transition of Jamie being alone to now having a guest and Teddy being who he is to accepting Jamie. There is nothing about it that says, we just came together and it was love at first sight and magic and everything. This is like the world's most bumpiest yet comical road that anybody has ever gone down. Things happen on one thing with them like very quickly, hot and heavy. On the other side, things are very slow, somewhat stagnant in the whole let's move forward area. It takes an event in Teddy's life and for him to rush home for things to really move and build this relationship until it kind of crumbles apart. And it's one of the things that I really, really hate is miscommunication. Yet this one, I think played out very well. We have somebody else who comes into the story and just inserts themselves totally not welcome by any means, by anybody. And from there, the miscommunication just kind of keeps falling and snowballing into this bigger, bigger thing. And it's not like neither one of them are talking to each other. Just neither one of them are like being completely honest. But it's hard to be honest when you don't know what the other one is really mad about. You think you do, but you don't. This book is full of humor. I mean, Teddy is just I want to go have drinks with this guy. I think he's just kind of like the man. And I want to go and kind of insert myself into the Marion family because I think that they are full of love and just, oh my gosh. It might be overwhelming at first, but I think I would have a blast. Lucy Lennox does a really good job of telling the story of building the picture for us that we can see these animals, see Jamie out there doing his job. We can also see the danger that goes in behind this. And we see Teddy, who we think is this and I've said it like a hundred times now in this review, a free spirit, but he's also lonely. And you see Jamie who we get to meet is content and he's happy and okay and lonely. I really fell in love with the story. I am going to read more, go back and read the first one and then kind of make my way through in my spare time because I think that this series is gonna be something that's gonna grab my heart. It's gonna make me wanna be a part of the Marion family. And there's a little incident in this book that made me think, ooh, with number three, Three. I haven't even looked to see if I'm right on who that couple is. I know the book's already out and I might skip number one if the number three is what I think it is because holy crap. 
Welcome only Batman. This is going to be spicy. So I am giving Taming Teddy by Lucy and Lynx four stars. One reason for the downgrade is editing. Yeah, that's all I, I have to say. It's just there were too many bloopers throughout the book. And then I, I feel like it was missing something. And the fact that I can't put my finger on it makes me feel like a really crappy reviewer. But I can't put my finger on it. I wish I could be like more thorough with that. And it's been a while since I finished the book and I've gone back and kind of read through it a little bit to see if I can pinpoint it down, but I can't. But at the end of the book, I'm like, God, it's just, I, it's, it's something. And I don't know. I don't know what that something is. Other than that, loved it, loved it, loved it. As I've said, I'm going to go in and read more of these books. If she's at GRL next year, I'm going to go up and maybe buy like all of them and have beautiful more paperbacks to add to my collection because I think that this series is just going to be fun, fluffy, and fantastic. If you've enjoyed this review, I'm going to ask that you help me with that YouTube algorithm and give me a like. Leave me a comment. I'd love to interact with all of you guys and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I try to get stuff out for you guys every Sunday through Thursday. I honestly though never know what time and that is the magic of the subscribe button is that you will get a notification when I have something new for you. If you like me and think this chick's pretty awesome, down below I'm going to leave my Facebook page and my Twitter. If you have a book or an arc you'd like me to read, request via website. Taming Teddy made Marion Tale number two by Lucy Lennox. Four stars. Bye. Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. And today I am bringing you The Garden by Rosaline Abel. This is book number two in the Lavender Shore series. One of the main characters is Gilbert Bryant. We met him in the Palisade. He's Andrew's best friend. He's a member of one of the founding families of Lavender Shores, an up and coming jewelry designer. And in his mind, the black sheep of Lavender Shores. And for this reason,